In this video, we have an assortment of different types of square roots. Here we have the square root of 15. Here we have the square root of 0.36. Here we have the square root of 144. And here the square root of 961. So let's work with these and try to find the roots. Here in the first problem, our job is to estimate for the square root of 15 to figure out what two numbers it's between. Let's break that down. So if we have 4 squared, that equals 16. Okay, that's bigger than 15. So that means whatever the square root of 15 is, it should be smaller than 4. So then we try 3. Well, 3 squared is 9, and that's also too small. So now that tells us that the square root of 15 has to be above 3, so it's between 3 and 4. And you can tell it's going to be much closer to 4, because 15 is much closer to 16 than it is to 9. So we want to get more exact with this, and let's go, let's go to the tenths place. Let's go that far. So we know that the square root of 15 should be much closer to 4 than 3, because 4 squared is much closer to 15 than 3 squared. So that means that it's probably something like 3.9. Let's try that. To square 3.9, I'm going to think of just 39 times 39. I'm going to solve that problem. I can do the log multiplication, but just for expediency, let's do it right here. Let's clear this. 3.9 times 3.9. We get 15.21. Now that tells me that 3.9 it equals, you know, well, 15,000, 21 to 15.21, that this is bigger than 15. So the square root of 15 is less than 3.9. So now we try to find another bound. Let's try 3.8. So does 3.8 work? Well, let's try 38 times 38, and then we can rescale it down. Um, so let's try that, 38 times 38. Okay, that gives us, well, it says 1,444, but, and that's true, but, again, this is 3.8 times 3.8, and remember, that means altogether our, our product will be 10 times smaller for each, for each factor, altogether 100 times smaller, to 14.44, and that's less than 15. So that means, yes, the square root of 15, not only is it between 3 and 4, but it's between 3.9 and 3.8 because, well, 3.9 is still too high, and 3.8 is still too low. It's somewhere between there. And what's so fascinating about this is that as you keep trying to estimate further and further, you'll realize that you cannot get an exact value for this square root. And don't fall for, uh, they often give the choice, yes, is it between, between 9 and 16, or something like that. Uh, the square root of 15 is between 3 and 4, not 9 and 16, right? not between 14 and 15, or 14.44 and 15.21. Those are the areas. The roots are here. These are the numbers we're looking at, so don't be confused. Now, let's go to an easier example, 144. To find many rational square roots, it just makes sense to make some guesses. 10 squared, start something friendly. That's 100, it's too small. 11 squared, well, that's 121. It's still too small. 12 squared, what's that? It's 144. If you don't know, you can work it out. All right, 12 times 12, go through the long multiplication, and you'll see that's correct. So within a few guesses and steps, we're able to find that the square root of 144 is, in fact, 12. What about 0.36? It seems really unfriendly, but think of the square root of 36. What's the square root of 36? Well, that's 6, because 6 times 6 gives us 36. So what does this mean about 0.36? Well, how is 0.36 related, right, to 36? Well, it's 100 times smaller than 36. I know that because 36, the decimal point's right here, and 0.36, the decimal point's right there. So it's moved over twice, from here all the way to here. So what does that mean about the answer? Well, in first, in first glance, you might think it's 0 0.06, because that's 100 times smaller than, than 6. But remember, you're squaring this number, so you're multiplying it out twice, which means it should just be 0.6. Why? Well, 
Remember, you're going to do 0.6 times 0.6. Overall, that will give you 36, but then, right, it should be 100 times smaller than this product. It should be 0.36, because each number is 10 times smaller than 6. So altogether, the entire product will be 100 times smaller. So, to find the square root of 0.36, find the square root of 36, and then divide that answer by 10. Go from 6 to 0 0.6. Here with 961, it seems really intimidating, but start with something you know. We're in 900, right? So I know that 30 times 30 is like 3 times 3, or 900. So we're already really close. Keep going. Try 31 times 31, and if you work this one out, you'll see that those equal 961. So even with large numbers, we can start at a point that makes sense to guess and then work our way up or down from there.